Now, the Salvation Army will host the 24th annual Super Bowl event on Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, the event features soups and desserts <laughs> and donated by local restaurants and then served up by volunteers. And joining us to talk about this year's event is Michelle Hartfield of the Salvation Army. Hi, Michelle. How are you today? I'm great. How are y'all? Well, of course, the first question comes to mind is with all the COVID going around, what precautions are you taking this year because of COVID? Sure. So we are, are trying to shift the event where you can uh, participate without having to be there or you can come if you feel safe. Um, so all of the soups and desserts and all of the food will be prepackaged this year. So you could come in and get your soups to go and leave um, and go home if that's how you're comfortable. Our silent auction will be done online this year, but we will have some designated seating areas off to the side um, to keep everybody safe if they do want to eat on location. And I just saw Walt Grayson there and, and Byron Brown in the line there. Well, was there any thought about not having the Super Bowl this year? No, we were just trying to figure out how to make it work. But, you know, we're 24 years in. We're getting, you know, excited about next year being the 25th anniversary. So we just had to do some brainstorming to figure out how we could make it safe and still make it a good event. It is a wonderful event every year. Really yes, is. and that picture of me, that was right after I sampled my own goods right there. <laughs> it's all, all the stuff is delicious, and you always have the best restaurants. So who, who's going to be participating this year, Michelle? Uh, we've got about 24 soups, I think, oh, uh, 25, somewhere right out there. So uh, a lot of the local restaurants have, have still been able to step up and help us out, and we're excited. It's going to be delicious. This is a big fundraising event for you every year. So how important is a successful Super Bowl to the bottom line there? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is, you know, how we kick off our year. It's one of our biggest events. I think it's our second highest earning event usually. Um, and, you know, it goes towards putting our, our feeding programs and keeping meals on tables in Jackson. So obviously we want to pull in as much funding as we can so that we can keep all of those programs going. Well, you mentioned the silent auction is going to be online. How is that going to work? Uh, we'll have it. We'll be able to post it and let people preview it. Um, and so you'll be able to bid all weekend long. And then the auction will actually close when the event closes on Sunday. Um, so we're hoping that that way people can participate in the auction, even if they don't feel safe coming to the actual event. Wow, this could be a bigger. You may you may want to keep doing that every year, uh -huh. even when we get to go back and, and get together again. Well, well, quickly, what is the uh, website that they can go on for the auction? Uh, you, that's not live yet, um, okay. but okay. SalvationArmyJackson.org is where you can get tickets, and then as soon as the auction is live, we'll have it up there as well. I think the only other thing I want to know, tell us the date. February 7th, Super Bowl Sunday from okay. 11 to 1. Good. I didn't want to be off a week either way, one or the other. Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> I appreciate that. And everybody, support Super Bowl Sunday for the Salvation Army.